in the world of entertainment. The actor, William Ife, stood out as a talented and dedicated performer. Born on May 9, 1918, in Mankato, Minnesota, Ife began his journey in the entertainment industry with a passion for acting. After completing his education, Ife moved to New York City to pursue his dreams of becoming an actor. He quickly gained recognition for his exceptional talent and was soon signed by 20th Century Fox. Ife's film debut came in 1943 with the movie The Song of Bernadette, where he played a small but memorable role. However, it was his performance in the 1944 film Wilson that truly showcased his acting prowess and earned him critical acclaim. Throughout his career, Ife appeared in numerous films, including A Bell for Adano, The Keys of the Kingdom, and Claudia and David. He also starred in several stage productions, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. Despite his success, Ife's life was cut short when he passed away on January 26, 1957, at the young age of 38. However, his contributions to the entertainment industry continue to resonate with audiences today. Ife's talent and dedication to his craft left an indelible mark on the film industry, inspiring future generations of actors to pursue their dreams and make their own mark in the world of entertainment. Let's take a moment to remember the talented actor William Ife. You might have a favorite performance of his that holds a special place in your heart. Was it his work in Wilson that resonated with you? Or perhaps you were captivated by his role in the North Star? When did you first recognize this accomplished actor? Was it during a trip to the movie theater or while watching a classic film on television? No matter how or when you discovered actor William Ife, we would love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. Share your stories and memories in the comments below as we delve deeper into the life and career of this remarkable actor. We'll uncover many funny, shocking, and sad facts. So, keep watching to learn more about the enduring legacy of actor William Ife. Born in 1918 in Alliance, Ohio, the actor's upbringing was deeply rooted in the Midwest. The actor's father, a local businessman, and mother, a homemaker, instilled in him the values of hard work and dedication. At a young age, the actor developed a love for storytelling, often putting on shows for his family and friends. The actor's early exposure to the craft came from local theater productions, where he discovered his passion for acting. He would often sneak into movie theaters to watch the latest films, captivated by the performances of actors such as Spencer Tracy and Betta Davis. These early experiences ignited a fire within him to pursue a career in acting. During his high school years, the actor participated in various school plays, further honing his craft. His talent did not go unnoticed, and he was encouraged by his teachers and mentors to pursue acting professionally. After graduating from high school, the actor moved to New York City to study drama at the prestigious Neighborhood Playhouse. Under the tutelage of renowned acting coach Sanford Meisner, the actor learned the fundamentals of the craft. Meisner's technique, which emphasized emotional truth and spontaneity, had a profound impact on the actor's approach to acting. The actor's natural talent, combined with Meisner's guidance, helped him to develop a unique style that would later captivate audiences. The actor's big break came when he was discovered by a talent scout while performing in a Broadway production. He was soon offered a contract with 20th Century Fox and made his film debut in 1943. Despite facing challenges and obstacles along the way, the actor remained dedicated to his craft continually pushing himself to grow and evolve as an artist. The actor, known for his work in the film industry during the 1940s, left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Although his career was relatively short, his influence was significant and enduring. The actor made his film debut in 1943, appearing in several successful films throughout the decade. His talent was quickly recognized, and he became a sought-after leading man. He starred in a range of genres, from drama to comedy, showcasing his versatility and adaptability. One of the actor's most notable roles was in the 1944 film Wilson, where he played the title character's son. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning several Academy Award nominations. The actor's performance was highly praised, and he was hailed as a rising star in Hollywood. The actor's influence extended beyond his on-screen performances. He was known for his advocacy for social justice, and his commitment to using his platform for positive change. He was actively involved in various charitable organizations and used his voice to speak out against discrimination and inequality. Despite his untimely death in 1957 at the age of 38, the actor's legacy continues to resonate in the film industry. 
His contributions to Hollywood paved the way for future generations of actors and filmmakers. He remains a testament to the power of art and activism, inspiring others to use their talents to create positive change in the world. In conclusion, the actor's influence on the film industry during his era and beyond cannot be overstated. His talent, versatility, and commitment to social justice left an indelible mark on Hollywood and continue to inspire future generations of artists and activists. Ever since the actor can remember, they had always been drawn to the world of make-believe. As a child, they would put on shows for their family, using whatever props they could find around the house. Their parents encouraged their creativity, and the actor's passion for performing only grew stronger as they got older. In high school, the actor landed the lead role in the school play, and it was then that they realized they wanted to pursue a career in acting. They spent hours memorizing lines, rehearsing scenes, and perfecting their craft. The thrill of being on stage of bringing a character to life was like nothing else they had ever experienced. After high school, the actor attended a prestigious performing arts school, where they honed their skills and learned the business side of the industry. They worked hard, taking on any role they could, no matter how small. They knew that they had to pay their dues and prove themselves if they wanted to make it in the competitive world of film and television. The actor's big break came when they were cast in a supporting role in a major motion picture. The film was a critical and commercial success, and the actor's performance caught the attention of industry professionals. They started getting offers for more prominent roles, and before they knew it, they were a working actor. Looking back, the actor realizes that their passion for performing was sparked at a young age. They were lucky to have supportive parents and teachers who encouraged their creativity. And while the journey to becoming a successful actor was not always easy, the actor never lost sight of their dream. They knew that if they worked hard and stayed true to themselves, they could make it in the industry they loved. After the actor's film career came to an end, he turned to producing for the stage and directing. Together with Lon McAllister, he produced Lend an Ear in 1949, which proved to be a significant opportunity for newcomer Carol Channing. She remained loyal to the actor, staying by his side until his passing in early 1957. The actor was married to the granddaughter of Irvin S. Cobb, a well-known humorist and author. Their marriage connected him to a prominent family in the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges he faced in his career, the actor remained dedicated to his work and left a lasting impact on those around him. His contributions to the stage and screen continued to be appreciated by audiences and industry professionals alike. Despite facing significant challenges early on, the actor, William Ith, remained resilient and overcame numerous obstacles throughout his career. Born in 1918, Ith grew up in a family struggling financially, which made pursuing his dream of acting a difficult endeavor. However, he was determined to succeed and found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles. Ith's financial struggles followed him to New York City when he moved there to pursue acting. Undeterred, he took on various jobs to support himself while auditioning for roles. He worked as a page at NBC, a shipping clerk, and even a model to make ends meet. In addition to financial struggles, I faced skepticism from the industry. As a newcomer, he had to prove himself to casting directors and producers who were hesitant to give him a chance. However, Ith's talent and determination shone through, and he eventually landed his first film role in The Keys of the Kingdom in 1944. Despite his success in the film, Ith continued to face obstacles. He was often typecast in certain roles, limiting his opportunities to showcase his range as an actor. However, he refused to let this hold him back, and actively sought out roles that would challenge him and allow him to grow as an artist. One such role was in the Broadway production of The Wisteria Trees, where he played opposite Helen Hayes. The play was a critical and commercial success, and Ith's performance was highly praised. This role helped establish him as a serious actor and opened up new opportunities for him in the industry. Ith's resilience and determination in the face of adversity are a testament to his passion for acting. He never let financial struggles or industry skepticism hold him back from pursuing his dreams. Instead, he found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles and continued to push himself as an artist. His legacy as a talented and dedicated actor continues to inspire aspiring performers today. After portraying Gerald Tetley in the film The Oxbow Incident, the actor reprised his role in a radio adaptation on the Screen Guild Theatre in September 1944. In 1941, he toured Canada with Ruth Chatterton and Caprice. It's interesting to note that he had a sibling connection to sports, being the brother of Howard Dutch Ith, an all-American halfback at Carnegie Tech. 
After a series of minor roles, the actor's breakthrough moment came with the film Wilson, where he played the son of the President of the United States. His nuanced performance caught the attention of critics and audiences alike, showcasing his potential as a leading man. The actor's co-star in Wilson, Alexander Knox, praised his ability to bring depth to his character, stating, William had a unique talent for conveying complex emotions with subtlety and grace. This groundbreaking performance led to more significant roles for the actor, solidifying his place in Hollywood. In 1944, the actor starred in the film The Fighting Sullivans, which told the true story of five brothers who served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. The film received critical acclaim, and the actor's portrayal of one of the Sullivan brothers was particularly noted for its emotional impact. Critic James A. G. wrote, The actor delivers a heart-wrenching performance that stays with you long after the film ends. The film's success not only brought the actor further recognition, but also highlighted the sacrifices made by servicemen and their families during the war. The actor's career continued to flourish, with notable roles in films such as A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and Claudia and David. His ability to connect with audiences and deliver compelling performances made him a respected figure in the industry. Director Elia Kazan, who worked with the actor on A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, described him as a sensitive artist who brought a quiet intensity to every role. This sentiment was echoed by many of the actor's collaborators, who admired his dedication to his craft and his ability to bring characters to life on screen. In conclusion, the actor's breakthrough moments in Wilson and the Fighting Sullivans not only showcased his talent and versatility, but also solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood. His ability to connect with audiences and deliver powerful performances left a lasting impact on the film industry and those who had the privilege of working with him. The actor, known for his work in film and on stage, struggled with substance abuse and addiction throughout his career. His battles with alcohol and drugs were well documented and they often interfered with his ability to perform at his best. Despite these challenges, the actor remained committed to his craft and continued to work in the industry. He appeared in a number of notable films and shows, and he was known for his intense and emotional performances. In addition to his struggles with addiction, the actor also faced other challenges in his personal life. He was open about his struggles with mental health, and he often spoke about the importance of seeking help and support. Despite these challenges, the actor remained determined and resilient. He continued to work in the industry, and he became an advocate for those struggling with addiction and mental health issues. Today, the actor's legacy continues to inspire and influence those in the industry. His work serves as a reminder of the challenges and struggles that many actors and performers face, and his advocacy for mental health and addiction support continues to resonate with audiences. The actor's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and determination. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles, he remained committed to his craft and became a respected and admired figure in the industry. His legacy continues to inspire and influence those who follow in his footsteps. The actor, known for his work in theater and film, had a unique approach to his craft. He believed in fully immersing himself in a role, becoming the character rather than simply playing it. To prepare for a part, he would conduct extensive research, studying the character's background, motivations, and relationships. This meticulous preparation allowed him to bring a depth and authenticity to his performances that captivated audiences. In addition to his rigorous preparation, the actor was also known for his ability to adapt to different genres and styles. Whether he was performing in a Shakespearean play or a Hollywood film, he was able to adjust his approach to suit the material. This versatility made him a valuable asset in both the theater and film industries. The actor's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. Growing up during the Great Depression, he developed a deep empathy for those who struggled with poverty and injustice. This empathy informed many of his performances, giving them a sense of humanity and compassion. Furthermore, the actor was not afraid to take on controversial or challenging roles. He believed that art should provoke thought and conversation, and he was willing to risk his own reputation to challenge societal norms and beliefs. This courage and conviction added an extra layer of depth and complexity to his performances. In conclusion, the actor's unique approach to his craft combined with his meticulous preparation, versatility, empathy, and courage, made him a truly exceptional artist. His work continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to his enduring talent and impact. Despite having a stage role in The Moon is Down, 
the film adaptation by his home studio Fox, cast someone else for the part. This was a significant setback for the actor, but he didn't let it deter him. Born on January 9, 1918, in Mankato, Kansas, the actor's real name was William Ith. He started his career in the entertainment industry as a contract player for 20th Century Fox. His first film was The Primrose Path in 1940, where he played a minor role. However, it was his performance in The Keys of the Kingdom in 1944 that brought him to the limelight. His portrayal of Father Champlin earned him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Despite his early success, the actor's career was short-lived. He appeared in only a few more films, including Wilson in 1944, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn in 1945, and The Best Years of Our Lives in 1946. His last film was If You Knew Susie in 1948. The actor's personal life was also filled with challenges. He was openly gay, which was not widely accepted during that time. This, coupled with his declining career, led to depression. Unfortunately, on June 26, 1957, the actor died by suicide at the age of 39. Despite his tragic end, the actor's contributions to the film industry are undeniable. His performances in The Keys of the Kingdom and The Best Years of Our Lives are still remembered and appreciated today. His life may have been cut short, but his impact on the film industry continues to resonate. The actor, known for his work in the 1940s, was a significant figure in the film industry. His career, though relatively short, left a lasting impact on both his contemporaries and future generations. In 1943, the actor made his film debut in The Song of Bernadette, a movie that resonated deeply with audiences and critics alike. The actor's portrayal of a troubled young man was praised for its nuance and depth, a testament to his natural talent and dedication to his craft. Following this success, the actor went on to star in a string of notable films, including Wilson and A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. His ability to convey complex emotions and inhabit diverse characters made him a valuable asset to any production. Despite his success, the actor's career was cut short due to his untimely death in 1957. However, his influence on the industry persisted. Director George Cukor, who worked with the actor on Wilson, spoke highly of his talent and dedication. He was a consummate professional, always prepared, and fully committed to his role, Cukor said. The actor's impact can also be seen in the work of contemporary actors who have cited him as an inspiration. Actor X, known for his work in film and television, has spoken publicly about the actor's influence on his own career. He had a rare ability to convey so much with just a look or a gesture, X said. He was a true artist, and I feel privileged to have been inspired by his work. In addition to his influence on individual actors, the actor's contributions to the film industry as a whole are undeniable. His nuanced performances and commitment to his craft helped to elevate the medium and pave the way for future generations of actors and filmmakers. The actor's legacy continues to resonate today, a testament to the enduring power of his work and his impact on the film industry. As we look back on his career, we are reminded of the importance of dedication, talent, and artistry in shaping the world of film. The career of the actor was cut tragically short due to a shocking diagnosis. In 1946, at the height of his fame, he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. This disease forced him to withdraw from the public eye and focus on his health. Despite his best efforts, the actor passed away in 1957 at the young age of 38. His loss was deeply felt by his fans and colleagues who had come to appreciate his talent and dedication to his craft. The actor's contributions to the world of film and theater were significant, and his memory continues to resonate with audiences today. The story of his life and career serves as a reminder of the fragility of health and the fleeting nature of fame. The actor, known for his work in films such as Wilson and Guest in the House, was also passionate about giving back to his community. He was actively involved in various charitable causes and organizations. For instance, he was known to be a strong supporter of the American Red Cross, often lending his time and resources to help with their various initiatives. In addition to his philanthropic efforts, the actor also had a deep appreciation for the arts. He was a patron of the theater and often attended plays and performances in his spare time. This love for the stage extended to his own work as he often brought a sense of depth and nuance to his film and television roles. Despite his success in the entertainment industry, the actor remained humble and down to earth. He was known for his kindness and generosity and was always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. 
His personal values and interests, including his commitment to giving back and his love for the arts, helped inform his work and made him a beloved figure in the industry. The actor's passion for philanthropy extended beyond his own personal efforts. He was also a strong advocate for social justice and equality, using his platform to speak out on important issues and support various causes. Whether through his charitable work or his advocacy, the actor made a positive impact on the world around him, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire and uplift others to this day. After watching the actor's work, you may find yourself reflecting on the impact he left on the film industry. The actor's ability to embody various roles with such finesse is truly admirable. It's no wonder that the actor's legacy continues to resonate with audiences even today. As you think about the actor's career, you might consider sharing your thoughts with us in the comments below. What was your favorite performance of the actors and why? What do you think made the actor's work so enduring? If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and share it with your friends and family. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's continue to appreciate the artistry and talent of those who have left their mark on the world of